In this tutorial, I'm going to find the raw reduced echelon form of the matrix which has rows 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the second row 0, 0, 3, 2, 5, the third row 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. So we are given that matrix and I want to find the raw reduced echelon form. For a matrix to be in raw reduced echelon form, it has to satisfy the following three conditions. Number one, the number of zeros preceding the first non-row zero entry of a row increases a row by row. Number two, the distinguished elements are each equal to one. And number three, the distinguished elements are the only non-zero entries in their respective uh, columns. So if we're looking at uh, the matrix that we are given there, we have uh, the leading elements there. We have a two, a three, and a two there. So those are the distinguished elements there. And uh, what we see there is uh, this matrix is, all, is already satisfying condition number one. What we then need to do is to make those uh, elements that I've highlighted there, we need to make them one and make them the only non-zero elements in uh, those uh, columns there. So to achieve that, we look at uh, the first row there where we have the two there. We need a one. And uh, when we need a one, we have to divide by two. But to achieve that, we have to use uh, elementary row operations. So we divide that uh, row one there. So the elementary row operation that we use there is row one. We transform it to one over two or row one. So when we do that, what we get is uh, for the first one, it gives us a two divided by two, and we get a one. 3 divided by 2, we get a 3 over 2. 4 divided by 2, we get a 2. Then 5 divided by 2, we get a 5 over 2. 6 divided by 2, we get a 3. Now going on to the second uh, row there. The distinguished element is a 3. And we said we need a 1 on that position. And when we have a 3, if we need a 1, we have to divide by 3. So the element of row operation that we have to use, we have to divide the row two there by three. So we transform row two to one over three, row two. We are dividing each element in a row two by three. So for the first one, we have zero divided by three, it gives us a zero. Zero divided by three, it gives us a zero. Three divided by three, it gives us a one. Two divided by three, it gives us a two over three. 5 divided by 3, it gives us a 5 over 3. We now move on to the third row. And on the third row, the distinguished element there is a 2. And uh, to get a 1, we have to divide uh, that row there by a 2. So we transform row 3 to 1 over 2 row 3. We are dividing each element in that row by a 2. And we get 0 divided by 2, we get a 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0, and lastly we have 2 divided by 2, we get a 1. Now looking at um, the first one there, and this distinguished element is a 1, and it's the only non-zero element in that column, so for this one it's okay, but for the second one now, we have uh, a one there, but in that column we also have a two. And therefore, it's not satisfying that condition which says that uh, this distinguished element should be the only non-zero element in that uh, column. So in this case, we need to have a zero on that position where we have that two there, and we will achieve that by using a uh, elementary row operations. So. What we have to do now, we need a zero there where we have that two. And to have a zero there, we will make use of the one which is in row number two there. So what we do is we multiply row two by two and then subtract that from row number one. So what we do is we transform row one to row one minus two row two. And when we do that, what we get is a uh, 1 minus a 0, we get a 1. 3 over 2 minus a 0, we get 3 over 2. And then uh, 2 minus 2, we get a 0. 
and then a 5 over 2 minus 2 times 2 over 3, we get a 7 over 6. 3 minus 2 times 5 over 3, we get a minus 1 over 3. And for row number 2 there, we are not changing it, so I'll just write it as it is. And row number 3, for now, I'm not changing it, I'll write it as it is again. And then uh, inspecting the matrix again, we have uh, on the first row, the distinguished element there, the one, and is the only non-zero element in that column. So we are okay there. And here we are having the distinguished element is a one, and is the only non-zero element in that column. But when you look at uh, this one now, the distinguished element there is a one, but we have all the other elements in that column there, they are not zero because we're having minus one over three and five over three. So we need to get zeros there where we have minus one over three and five over three. And we would have to use the elementary row operations again. So we'll make use of a row three there. So what we have to do, we have to transform a row one. And on that last element, we need a minus, we need a zero. And to get a zero, when we are making use of the one in row three, that means we multiply row three by a one over three, then add it to row one. So that it will give us one over three plus one over, one over three minus one over three, then it gives us a zero. So the row operation is row one. We transform it to row one plus one over three, row three. We are being guided by that um, one over three so that we have a zero there. That's why I have that row operation. And when we perform uh, that row operation, what we have, we have a uh, one plus a uh, zero, it gives us um, a one. And uh, then for the next one, three over two plus a zero, it gives us a three over two, zero plus zero, it gives us a zero. Seven over six plus zero, it gives us seven over six. And minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times 1 gives us a 0. We now move on to row number 2. On row number 2, we are looking at uh, the element 5 over 3 there. And from that position, we need a 0. So to get a 0, we'll make use of that 1, which is in row number 3. So what we do is uh, we multiply row number 3 by minus 5 over 3. So that we would have 5 over 3 minus 5 over 3, and it would then give us a 0. So the row operation that we use, we say we transform row 2 to row 2 minus 5 over 3 to row 3. And when you do that, what we get there is a, a 0 minus 0 gives us a 0, 0 minus 0 gives us a 0, 1 minus 0, it gives us a 1. And then for the next one, 2 over 3 minus 0 gives us 2 over 3. Then 5 over 3 minus 5 over 3 by the 1 there, then it will give us a 0. Because it will be 5 over 3 minus 5 over 3. And then now for the third row there, the 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Let's suppose we are not changing it. Now looking at uh, the matrix now, inspecting it, if it is in Row reduced echelon form, we see that the first one there, the distinguished element is a one and is the only non zero element in that column. We are okay. And this one there, the distinguished element for row number two, the one, and is the only non zero element in that column. So we are okay. And the third one, we have the distinguished element there is a one and is the only non zero element in that column. So what we are having there, this is the raw or reduced echelon form for that given matrix.